I came across this game on the For You page that I thought I should play. It looked interesting because it was about this guy being a slave to his wife and her boyfriend and they have a fight and he gets kicked out, he gets to start a new life, whether he wants to do company or keep the same job. It's like a choice based game. So I thought, yeah, that's gonna be really cool. And it sort of ended up with drama because he didn't have any money left to support his new high flying lifestyle that was as a result of a running a business. So I bought the shit out of it. When I say bought, I downloaded it for free. Straight up relatability right there. I hope this turkey is involved in the business as well. I like the drama involved with the open relationship issues. It's time to pick a character. A good name will set you up for a strong business career. Let the journey begin, baby. Fast lifestyle, fast cars. Mr. Sponsor. He's asking why I'm car sick. He was the one speeding all around the joint. I bet he had a thing with my wife too. I can't wait for that drama. Look at my character. I'm jealous of his inquisitive monobrow. This is the place. I can't remember when I bought this office building. It's been a long time. I guess he's my best friend, my best rich friend. Please enter. This place is yours now. Don't let me down. Oh, uh, really? But I don't know what I can do. Don't worry. This is my secretary, Jane. She will teach you everything. Tee hee hee. Chairman, you shy. That's not a face of a girl that's shy. She's weathered. I believe the chairman has told you about me. I will teach you how to run a property management company. I hope you can do it. Well, okay. First of all, please give a name. Office building. The best way to name a company is to look for inspiration around you. Hmm, good name. If you want to change the name, just tap on the signboard at the door. To run a property management company, you shall start by buying furniture. There are three stations in room 101 now. If you buy one more, you'll have a complete office. Oh my goodness, it's that hand from Smash Bros. Let's buy the remaining station. As I said, white wood stations. And I think you've noticed that every time an office is ready, it increases reputation for our company. Our goal is to keep increasing our reputation and become the best property management giant in the world. What this game wants to do is property manage a location and office spaces for successful businesses. And if these businesses stay on our property, they're making us money. So the key is to always have them in our property, like 24 seven, not going home at all. Time to scan my first I business. I think I'm gonna go for the smart choice of a gaming company as a first company to use my property. I don't know if I need to read anything. I'm just gonna click confirm almost straight away. Good. The staff of this company will come to work here soon. Whoa, they took the bus. Look at them, they're so eager. When the company is working in the office, we will have income. Good. So the idea is to keep them working. Okay, time to lease out the next office space to another business. And like with any business, I just need to buy four cheap office tables. Don't rush to renovate the third office. I have something more important to tell you now. Listen, Jane, I've had enough of your explanations. Let's just keep skipping through everything. Oh no, a room has malfunction. How does a room malfunction? What, do I have to do it? But I'm the boss, look at me. I'm too busy watching my TikToks on the computer. Well, I mean, I'm super keen. Look at me run. I guess I just press a power board to fix it up. It's fixed. But do I have to do it myself in the future? Everyone has to work hard to start a business. Which is true. If you haven't tapped the power board, what are you doing? You don't know how to run a business. So I want to go check my phone. Nothing spells a business person than checking your phone. Oh, it's from mom. Hey Brett, Lee has returned to the village after work today. He told me that you are now opening a property management company. Uh, yeah, oh no mom, how do you know this so soon? I just opened the company today. Why don't you tell me something so important? Uh, the company Internet Leading Fund, trust me. Long story short, I think my mom scammed me into a pyramid scheme. But I got a thousand bucks out of it, so all works well, I guess. Well, okay, so now my mom says she's going to the village square to find a dance partner. Okay, I'm down with it. Time to look at my mobile bank. I got like so many assets, dollars all in the first day. So I guess the aim of this game is to come number one on this list. Bezos and Musk and Gates and Trump and Tony Ma and Jackie Ma. You're all going down. I'm still waiting for that open marriage drama to happen. So far, all I've been doing is like fixing malfunctioning rooms for these businesses. I really just want the drama to start. Plus, where the hell is that turkey we saw at the beginning? The mysterious tycoon is coming to visit us. As you encounter difficulties with funds, you can ask him for help. 
Isn't he just my best friend that gave me car sickness? Anyway, he gives me money dancing with hay barrels or bottle barrels. Holy cow, look how fast he went. Now for the important stuff. A magazine rack for my office. Okay, it's night time and I hope the workers realizing they're pulling an all-nighter. So, whoa, skip the night. It's not wise choice to refuse a gift from the messenger of the night. Not to mention this gift allows us to skip the long night. Well, look, I'm all about the workers and their opportunity to work through the night. So I definitely am not going to accept that offer. I wonder if you'll come back and tackle me. Oh, boss is busy. There's way more to fix up. What is with those wrenches? It looks like the wrench is just wrenching one of the workers' heads. Engineering department. Yeah, I think that's the most important part of the business because everyone knows that the people who work in the IT department work the hardest. Also, any second we just know that the drama that we saw in the advert at the beginning is going to start. Yo, guys, I just earned the right to charge more in rent to this company. With this newfound money, it's time to give back to the IT department. I'm not going to stop upgrading their stuff until I run out of money to redesigning and upscaling the engineering IT department. I am just going to spend big because they're the people that are the backbone of the company. If there's one thing that's important to spend money on, it's a meeting room. If you're not having at least 30 business meetings a day, are you really hacking it as a business owner? Now into my second day, we're thriving in this business space. So I'm going to go get a bigger company to lease out one of my bigger rooms. I believe toxic culture is necessary for growth in a business. So I think Red Alien, which is kind of like uh, Reddit, is the most ideal company to have in one of my properties to represent how I feel business should be run. Oh no, now the workers want demands. They want a water cooler. Well, I don't think I want to get them a water cooler. If I know anything about water coolers, it's where you gossip around and I'm not about that lifestyle. Okay, so the first meeting is going to be conducted in the newly made meeting room. And the newest, biggest company is going to go first. Let's see how they take it. What? They're all unhappy? What the shit? Promise me, upgrade this simple meeting table again. No! You're not going to get it. I'm tired of these demands. I'm the boss here. I'm the big property tycoon. I'm the billionaire. You don't make demands. Oh shit, the cops. What the heck's going on here? There's my friend still dancing with cash flying out of his butt. And right next to him is a dog in a seal and a spinning wheel. A prize wheel, just right in front. I'm willing to gamble my whole business on this. I really, really want a seal or a dog. That's the thing that I need the most from this. Oh, cash. Oh. The workers want me to make a better toilet for them. Well, good luck. I'm not down with all their complaints, so you could just suffer. Yeah, have an angry face. This whiteboard compartment is so-so. Yeah, well, you're so-so. You're a so-so worker, and you don't deserve things like toilets, let alone upgrades of toilets. It's nighttime again. None of them have gone home, so, I mean, I've got to give them props for that. This is a 24-7 type company. The more they're working, the more money is in my pocket. Look, I'm going to stop there. So far, there's no drama or turkey. I guess there's a seal on a dog. Perhaps if I play a few more hours of it, I might see the golden turkey or get into the drama. But right now, it's just a well-oiled business. If you want a part two, just let me know in the comments.